Thanks for waking up with us. It is 544 here on your Monday morning. Let's check in now with KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Sarah Knox. Sarah, we're starting pretty foggy and we're going to kind of just keep that gloomy theme all throughout the day, right? That we are. Eventually the fog that we are seeing over places like Rochester, like what you just saw behind both Ryan and Annalise and behind me over Highway 52, eventually it will start to lift, but it'll take some time. So if you are heading out the doors, some places dealing with this fog, you may have to be prepared to slow down a little bit. It is difficult to see, especially once you get outside of the cities where you have all the city lights to help guide you. Things become a little bit more difficult outside of those areas. Preston still hanging out around zero miles of visibility, so a little dangerous the further south that you go. Decorah also suffering from some of the fog. That's about half a mile of visibility. We're under half a mile in both Rochester and Dodge Center. We do have some perfect tens on the board. That's what we like to see here during the morning. And there's some drier air that kind of follows suit. They're in the same locations, Albert Lee, Mason City. This drier air will eventually make its way a little further to the east. We could see maybe a little evidence of the sunshine before the clouds just continue to swoop in from that loop of the low pressure system. Moving over to current temperatures and some of us have seen temps drop. Some of us have actually seen temps rise a little bit. That includes Rochester now at 45 degrees as opposed to the 44. Meanwhile, we are down in Albert Lee, Mason City, even Austin. Temperatures have dropped about two degrees over the last hour or so with the breeze hanging out anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, if you're expecting temperatures to continue to rise up throughout the day, I don't have great news for you. These clouds kind of holding strong throughout. Temperatures staying quite steady here. Most of us just hanging out in the low 50s, right around 50 degrees because of the clouds that we have this morning, the clouds we'll have this afternoon, and the clouds that we will have this evening. Again, don't let that get you down. I know it's going to be a hard start here on this Monday, but don't worry, there is sunshine in the forecast. I'll push time forward here on Sky Tracker 3 just to show that the clouds continue to fill in once again as we get later into the day. But as we get into the evening, we start to see some clearing taking place. Let's head over into Tuesday morning. So that sunshine is going to make a big difference, not to mention where the winds are coming from. They're not going to be terribly strong, but coming in from the south, you can expect some warmer temperatures plus that sunshine, then we can all expect some instability. And by the time we head into the afternoon, we start to see some pop-up showers and storms. And yes, by Tuesday evening, there is a slight severe weather chance. Our chances for rain don't go away there either as we continue through the week. Thursday welcomes back some more chances for showers and storms. So once again, a very spring-like forecast here. After this cool start on our Monday, temperatures will at least start going back above average a bit there with the sunshine. So it's not all doom and gloom. The sun will be nice, but it does add some fuel to the possibility for storms. All right, thank you, Sarah. We'll see you in 10 minutes.